Hey everyone, Miles Shea here. I will be reviewing Shantish Lace Wigs. We've conceived, conceived. we've believed, believed. we've achieved, achieved. we've with you. Who is Shantice Lace Wigs? Well, let's go on to their website and read their about cause I don't really know. Okay, so they do have their own website, although they are also on Amazon and eBay as well. So I'm here on their About Me page. It says, Our Story. In France, many years ago, lived a beautiful young girl who worked as a maid for the mayor of a great city. Where I, I really want to know where this story is going. Unregarded, despite her great beauty and kind heart, one day she heard a sobbing from a guest in the mayor's house. The daughter of the mayor's friend, a powerful duke, had lost her hair in an accident. Taking pity on the poor girl, the young woman cut off her own beautiful hair and wove it into a beautiful replacement for her. The girl and her father were delighted and soon everyone spoke kindly of this beautiful girl with a kind heart, Shantish. You know what that sounds a lot like to me? I is giving me that energy. But it's a good story, like I was like, okay. Now on to what is in this box. We have got a wig cap, a bag and net for the wig storage, eyelashes. Now let me show you what she looks like. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. I don't want any of the lace to show, but she, yet she persists. And this is how I styled her. What do we think? We did a little something something, not too crazy. And I, this is new. This is very new. I've never done this little braid thing before. I figured why not show you the deep parting space in this wig, <laughs> which is actually one of the bang up points that I'll get to, but we'll do that later. But now let's focus on how I styled this wig. Whee! This is a lace front wig. We have one big comb in the back. I love it when they have this. Two draw straps, two combs on the side of the head and one at the very top. The knots are not bleached, which means you can see these little dot things and we want to get rid of those. So I put a nice layer of bleach on top and waited for about 30 minutes. I used the Blonde Brilliance 15 volume developer and then I just went straight into plucking just to make sure the hairline wasn't as hard as it was when it first got to me. I am the mother of all plucking, a mother plucker, if you will. So here I pulled the front of the hairline down and I'm just plucking behind it to make sure I get a nice little patch of skin that you can see there. And I'm just plucking at random, nobody is safe. Okay, and then once I'm satisfied with that, I pull the front of the hairline back up and start plucking randomly again. The mother plucker is back, girls. Watch out. Once my mini bald spots have been secured, I go ahead and I start to color the lace with my foundation on the outside and on the inside. And I color the root just a bit to make it match with my skin tone like so. I mean, how did I do? I mean, I think I did pretty well. Like, look at that. Moving on, I'm going to attempt to cornrow this hair. Now, this was really difficult because I'm only used to cornrowing on my own head. So on a different head, it's like really weird and feels foreign. And it took me a few tries, but I finally got it down in this clip. I mean, close enough. The front looks a little, she looks a little wonky, but um, I did my best, you know? While the hair was still a little bit damp, I took my hair dryer and did that thing where you use the brush to kind of straighten it out a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really know what I was doing, but it looked like it was working, so I kept doing it. And once I got bored and it stopped working and the hair started drying up, I started to use my little mini straightener, as you can see, to curl the front part of the hair. Now this little tiny straightener, she is powerful, okay? So I wanted to make sure to use it on the front part of the hair where I know it needs to look right or else the whole wig will look busted. And then I attempted to use the brush on the back of the hair to at least get it to straighten out a little bit more before I put the curling iron on it because I just didn't have the energy or the time to straighten this whole wig. No, ma'am. 
but I was gonna try and straighten those roots because I know what it looks like to have a kinky root and straight hair on the bottom. So I went back in and tried to straighten the roots as much as I possibly could. And unfortunately, I still ended up with kinky roots. So I moved on and now I'm just going straight in with a curling iron and just curling this hair. And I'm using the method where I just bring the iron down on the hair while pulling it as straight as possible to kind of straighten it out before I curl it. Now, of course, it's it kind of worked, but it didn't work out all the kinks. OK, I was just making sure that the hair looked cute curled. OK, but it did a good enough job as you can see you can tell i really wasn't trying to go for perfection here with this wig it was more me just playing around with it seeing what she could do seeing how i could style her um because i've never experimented with yaki hair with this kind of texture which begs the question to me um what kind of yaki hair have i been getting because like I feel like I'm, I've been missing out this whole time or I've been getting horse hair. So what, which is it? Apple care, hello? Now I'm just setting those curls with my got to be hairspray, just using a light spritz all over cause I do not want to crystallize the hair. But I also want to lay down all these frizzy flyaways cause she is on the long frizzier side. And this is the finished look on the first day that I wore it. I don't know if y'all noticed, but my scalp is orange and that is because I didn't tone the bleach knots. I just used a little bit of eyeshadow to try to fix that afterwards. But yeah, this is the finished look. So let's just get straight into my thoughts about this hair. It most resembles what my natural hair would be like if I permed it and straightened it. It's exactly that. And then even, even after I wet it, it would still resemble that because it doesn't completely curl up it's got waves, as you can see, there's still, there's some kinks in here. The tracks in this wig are really close together, which is excellent. And the hair is split. Can you see the tracks at all? Because if you can't, that's a really, really good sign. And that means I don't have to worry about it. And I don't ever want to have to worry about that when I wear a wig, ever. So I feel like I don't really have to worry about the track showing in the back, which is excellent. Um, as far as how this wig fits my head, this wig is 23 inches, I believe, or 22. It feels like 22 because it doesn't fit around my head quite as well as I would want it to. I would probably pull this down a little bit more if I could, but this height is decent. And I, I kind of have to, I kind of had to um, not use the long comb in the back because it doesn't fit on my head. So right now it's just sitting on top of my wig cap and the back of the wig cap is just out. So no high ponytail today, girlies. <laughs> I'm really glad you can dye this hair. I'm really glad you can bleach this hair. I was talking with the representative from the wig company and they said like, well, what you want to do is not necessarily what you're going to do. I was basically like, I'm going to dye this wig. Like she tried to stop me. People at home, I'm sure you trying to stop me, but like, girl, I'm killing this hair. Like, it's happening. She's already dead. Like, what, what more is left to lose, okay? I need to experiment in order to learn. So, we're learning something today. We're learning how to play bleach and successfully color kinky hair, or in this case, yaki hair. So this wig is 18 inches in the color number two, and the density is 130%. All in all, these options come out to around $164 in some change. So this wig is a bit on the pricier side. It's probably um, one of the more affordable wigs, unless you're getting a bob. It's probably because you get 18 inches of hair. That's the main factor for most high prices of wigs, that and the wig cap construction. So uh, make sure to keep that in mind when you are making your purchase or if you decide to make a wig purchase. So I'm gonna give this four out of five punk Asian girls with purple highlights because this wig doesn't fit all the way around my dome comfortably. It rides up a little bit in the back and if I try to pull it back, it's too far back on the front, but it fits well enough to where I can glue the front part down and look decent. On the plus side, the hair quality is excellent. 
It goes from kinky to straight, from straight to kinky. It took the bleach really well, which is super important when bleaching with hair. Like, it looks just as shimmery and shiny and healthy as the rest of the hair and it's not breaking off uncontrollably, which is excellent. You saw before what the hair looks like when it's kinky, so I wanna see if I can bring it from straight to kinky again. So let me see if I can change this back into kinky hair by using some water. I can smell it already. <laughs> it really smells like permed hair. <laughs> Going back straight again, as you can see on the inside, it's already, it's already really wavy. So this side is now soaking wet. <laughs> kinky side. And here is the straightened out curly side. Now that I finished the weave of you, it is time for me to dance for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, it's been me, Miles J, and I will see you guys all later. Deuce, deuce.